Hi, this is Penny. I'm actually at Winco sitting in a car waiting for my guy. I just went to the bathroom in there and came back and then had to get my wheelchair back in the car. You know, sometimes I think to myself, let's try going without the wheelchair. You know, I like I said, I'm an ambulatory wheelchair user and I have a lot of yeah, chronic disorders, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And, and, and I just started using a wheelchair this year. So really, I know my hair is a mess, but oh well. Um, I still have issues. And I, I think to myself, like when I was rolling to the bathroom, that if I was able to walk there without worrying about collapsing it would be so much easier than rolling the wheelchair to the bathroom and just get up and walk to the bathroom go in and come out but this past week I've been doing what I can to not use the wheelchair as much and I have been paying a steep price for it Yeah, as you can see, I got interrupted. I'm right now in a hollow room because my daughter is going to be moving in and we had to empty out this room. Um, that's why you hear an echo, echo, echo. <laughs> and I was talking about a wheelchair, um, trying to go without a wheelchair. Currently in here, I'm sitting on a regular chair. My wheelchair is in the living room. I didn't feel like taking it down to the hallway, but the price I had to pay in... Um, Trying to go without a wheelchair is da -da 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 -da. number one more flare-ups. I am having a few flare-ups right now. Very, very painful. This time it's in the lower back and in the hips. They can happen anywhere at any time. And not just little flare-ups, but major owie owie owie. This hurts. I'm gonna cry. 10 plus pain level flare-ups. That's what a major flare-up looks like. And it just happens all of a sudden for no reason. Yesterday I went to the storage in Garland and I didn't feel like pulling out the wheelchair and I had parked the van so that my daughter can take her stuff out of the van and put it in her storage and my storage was down a little way so I just walked over to my storage and guess what I did? I was in there looking through things, searching through things and all of a sudden I could feel my hip and my legs start giving out on me. I'm like, yo, I was trying hard to ignore the fact that my hips and my legs were giving out on me. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I continue to search and I continue to search and I'm going down, down, down. And next thing I know, I'm on the ground and I'm like, okay, okay. And then I'm told myself, I'm like, you're just over exaggerating. This is not happening. You're over exaggerating. Let's just get up. So I reached to grab something to get up. And it was just absolute pain. I'm like, yeah. Ah! And next thing I knew, because when I reached up with this hand, being my right hand. Yeah, I wear my watch on my right hand, even though I'm right-handed, because that's me. That's what I do. Anyway, and when I did that, this hand began to hurt. And my hand and my whole arm started to hurt. And I stood there and I was like, oh. So I hobbled over back to the van. I got in there and I actually cried. And I cried because it was just once again a reminder that the wheelchair just may be my new way of life. Not that it's bad for people to be in a wheelchair, but that I'm more and more losing my old life and I'm grieving over that. So uh, when I drove home, well, I had to drive Nicole and, and my son back to Nicole's place it hurt every time I, you know, shift the gears, every time I, it would hurt really, really bad. 
So anyway, um, I had to drive back to my daughter's apartment, then back to the storage, back to the apartment, and then home, where every time I would shift the gear, my whole, whole arm would just hurt really bad. So there I, are people who say, maybe I should get one of those power wheelchairs because sometimes it's my arms that hurt, but I don't really have the money for that. Even then, I do believe that in my particular case, that being as mobile as I can be is a good idea. But I'm learning more and more that I tend to not know what my limits are because like, I'm feeling great, I could do this. And then I go too far and I pay a pretty good price for that. Um, it's like, yes, I've been suffering for, you know, decades and stuff. But this has gotten to the point that now I need, you know, a wheelchair and a rollator and whatever. And it feels sometimes like it's suddenly happened, but when I look back, it hasn't. And I could think of all the times in my past when I could barely do things and yada, yada, yada. And I think the hardest thing, I mean, is grieving, like I says, because of the life I no longer have. And also, learning my limitations. The other thing that's hard is the fact that before I did so much, even when I was in pain, I continued to do whatever, but this has gotten to where I collapse. This has gotten to where it's dangerous for me to be on my feet for too long. Uh, this has gotten to where the pain is just more unbearable than I've dealt with before. Because I can't do as much as I used to do, I often feel useless. And then I think about all the people who are on wheelchairs who have done wonderful things and continue to do wonderful things. And people who are in worse condition than me who have done wonderful things and continue to do wonderful things. So I have to learn that I'm not useless, I just need to find a new me, a new normal, a new way of doing things and hopefully, you know, be more encouraging to others. And the one thing I have discovered is I really don't want to compare myself to other people, whether or not they are better off than I am or worse off than I am. So that whole, when somebody says, well, you know, there are other people who, you know, be grateful because you're not as bad as so-and-so. I think I would really feel insulted if somebody come up to me and says, well, you know, I am so grateful for my life because I'm not as bad off as you. And so I don't want to compare myself to other people. You know, people make out of their life the best that they can do with what they have. And yeah, there are people who are better off than me. Yeah, there are people that are not as well to do as I am, but it doesn't make anybody a greater or lesser person. So I'm not comparing myself to anyone, rather they are somebody who doesn't have as many disabilities or disabilities or somebody who has a more severe disability because I'm me and my own unique abilities and disabilities and I am who I'm responsible for. So what I'm grateful for is that I am me and I'm grateful for my opportunities and I'm grateful for that I, I learn new things. And yes, from time to time, I may get a little down and depressed or maybe a little bit more than just a little down and depressed. Well, basically, I just wanna do what I can to keep up with my videos. So, I hope that I'm helpful to people out there, especially people who are contemplating getting a wheelchair um, because of the stigma attached to it. But if it's something that makes your life a little bit easier because you have difficulties walking, walking too far could be dangerous for you or is extremely painful, don't worry about the stigma. Take care of yourself. Have a lovely day.